Alex is a good guy. Does it all for the subscribers. After all, where else do I get to watch such cool and large scale experiments if not here on this channel? So I'd say you know what you need to do and I know what I must do. And what's more, I know how I should do it. You and I, right this moment, I'll show you how today we're making a fountain from 1,000 liters of Coke. At first glance, the experiment might come off as extremely simple and even more so, stupid. Yeah, it's possible to some extent I can agree with that. There isn't really a mental lesson in this experiment, but we've still got a little bit of science happening in order to make this experiment as simple as possible and run into the fewest obstacles. After all, pouring the coke out at just the right moment exactly when needed, not so simple. We imagined literally thousands of ways that we can get it submerged. From having a person who sits inside and tosses the baking soda at the right moment, to having a sack within a barrel that we would just blow up with dynamite. And baking soda explodes all over. <laughs> of course, all of these complicated methods, these ideas are all nonsensical because, well, engineering entails making something difficult into its simplest form. So check this out. We've managed to devise the simplest and most effective mechanism for this that works for the most part. We took a metal barrel and attached a metal tube onto the top of it. We have to place the baking soda inside the barrel. So in order to keep it from coming out before it's due, we installed a tray with a little lip that can tie a cord to. Next, we have this rope pass through the pipe and wind it through an improvised block. After this, we can pull the rope top and tie it to the base of the metal barrel. Finally, we take the entire thing and hook it up to the plastic barrel. At the right moment, we cut the rope. The soda falls, the reaction starts all this bubbling, and finally we get a fountain. Okay, basically, it's not possible to construct this any simpler. Listen, if we've already constructed the thing and we're so sure of it working, then why don't we just go now into the field and test it in action, huh? Let's go handle the coke. new way to pour the coke, a new method that's way more accurate. We've decided to utilize a small barrel. Next, we slice open the neck of the bottle and gently turn the bottle over inside the small barrel so that it hits fewer surfaces and releases the least amount of gas. Look, this is how it pours from the neck and this is how it pours out the new way. Seems the difference is plain to see. As far as lifting it up goes, we take this and bring it to the main barrel. And it goes in there. Most importantly is to work quickly, but also very carefully at the same time. These are two incompatible things. It's complete. While the guys pour the coke, I remembered the vinegar. It's impossible to do without it. It's preferably added before the very end so the reaction works better. In order so that you understand, when the coke sits out for a bit, the reaction becomes lesser. Watch, this is how a fresh coke bottle reacts. And this is how coke that's flat reacts. And well, this is how coke reacts when flat, but we've added some vinegar to it. We tried the very same experiment with pure vinegar. As you can observe, there's nearly no reaction at all. Vinegar, it's just an additive reactant and not the main one. Therefore, it should only take up about 10% of the barrel max. Oh. Oh. 
можно. If I'm being honest, guys, I'm getting the feeling that the coke won't freaking react because of the fact that it's already not bubbling any longer. There's only a tiny amount of coke left to pour. So I'd like to prepare the device for baking soda so as not to do it the last second. What do you say, guys? Am I worried or what? Of course not. I believe in all of it. I believe it will all work out. No, no I'm pretty scared. My heart is beating a mile a minute. I need some heart medication. The bubbles, the bubbles. Well, guys, we filled the barrel to the brim. This is as maximum as it can get. And it appears as though it's not going to undergo a reaction because it already seems so calm. I took a little crumb of baking soda. Super small. Let's take a look. Whether it reacts even a little or not. Something is reacting. We have a small chance yet. Guys, let's cover it up and get it over with. Push it in, come push on, it. Come on. Everyone ready to watch this? Yeah, woo! I've been left with the toughest responsibility that's cutting the cord. Three! We ran into a problem. While the experiment was going, the barrel became very inflated due to the intense pressure. As per the route of least resistance, the foam started finding an easier way to escape. The plastic barrel even had fissures in some places. If the barrel had been metal, this would have been different. All of the sealant came right off the sealant. Amazing, it's still reacting. That means we'll need more baking soda. All right. Once again, we figured out our mistakes and we're giving it one more try. A couple of days later, and we've solved the problem. We're just using a metal barrel this time. Everything else is the same. Finally, our second attempt. We're already prepping the soda to pour. Even those helicopters are out due to this. Everyone ready, let loose the drone. The moment has finally come. I'm just gonna walk up suddenly like so and cut it. That'll be cool, right? No crap. Ready? 
I'll do it with, and if I don't cut the cord, ah, all right. Woo, scary. Three, don't wander off. Three, two, one. Well, what's holding it? This is how it goes. Just a quick bang, that's it. Three, two, one, done. Three, two, one, three, two, one. I hate counting. Three, two, one, 121. 121! This is much better. I believe that's a success. That's for sure. This is more or less a decent fountain. You know, as clear as day. Ugh. In thousand liters of coke. Now that is gonna be way more grand. Something truly great to see. And we'll find out soon in our next installment. Yes! Now that was awesome! Woo! Woo!